Everything, a new comedy, CBS Tonight, after Everybody Loves Raymond. You're impressing me right now, you know that? I am. Yes, here it is, zero hour, night before the biggest election in your political career, and look at you. No tension, calm, cool, collected. Well, I've done everything I can. It's up to the voters now. And you're able to let it all go, just like that, huh? Like I said, I'm impressed. You know something? I don't deserve you. Since when? I'm just lucky that you put up with me. <laughs> What's up, people? Mom, how you doing? She's calm, cool, and collected. Uh, it's a front. She's breaking. Mm. I am not. This is me you're talking to, Mom. I can remember you on pins and needles at the PDA presidential election when I was in elementary school. Trust me, Ben. She hates losing. Uh, she's not going to. So, what brings you here? You closing up? Oh, I just got the weirdest message from Isaac. Yeah, we did too. That's why we're here. You want to meet with all of us at the same time? Something about explaining everything. Yeah, however, he neglected to define what everything meant. I didn't even know we were still on speaking terms. We are. Does that mean you've come to your senses? Even better. I have all the answers to the questions about Marshall Travers. You didn't know who to ask. I know the truth, y'all, and it's going to set us free. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and win you an election. Four, please. Even your voicemail is obnoxious. It's me. Listen, Craig, you're gonna have to do me a favor. You call me at Jax the minute you get this message and just roll with whatever I say, okay? And don't, don't mess it up. What's all this? little change of pace. We've got to get back on track with each other, Jack. Unless you want to go back to the station and find another perp to beat up. Everybody I see has Craig Montgomery's face. I wonder why that is. Please, let's not talk about Craig, okay? Please. Why not? I mean, you can talk about him when you, when you drop the happy news that you're going into business with the guy, but I'm not supposed to mention his name over candlelight and wine. All this is about me trying to convince you that everything I've ever wanted, everything I've ever dreamed of, everything I've ever fought for, is all right here in this house, Jack. You and Parker and our lives together. You're forgetting someone, aren't you? Jack. You are the only man I want in my life. Loving you is... It's what love is to me. And Craig, he's the opposite of that. He's the opposite of love. I just need him right now. You need? Carly, if you think you need Craig Montgomery in any way, forget about us. Because we don't stand a chance. <laughs> You're going to be very sorry you did that, big boy. You touch me again, and I swear I'll... Where's kill. Lucy? She went to get us something to eat. All right? Well, she better be all right, or you're gonna get something worse than a beating. Well, it can't get any worse. My dad's sending me back to Seattle. I have nothing to lose. Ah, well, it's about time. Because you are a disaster, a threat to my daughter, to your father, to Emma, Leave to him alone. Back off! As usual, you have no idea what's going on here. Well, your delinquent son seems to want a piece of me, and I am quite willing to... Enlighten. Aaron saved Luke's life tonight. He saved Will Munson's life, too. He is a hero. So whatever you got, you deserved. Honey, why were you worried about Aaron? Is he in some kind of trouble? There was a fire at the Snyder farm tonight, and Miss Barn almost burned down. Yeah. Was anybody hurt? Luke was inside playing with Will Munson. 
looks fine. But Will was still unconscious when I left the hospital. And if it wasn't for Aaron, he probably would have died. Did Aaron get hurt? Well, he inhaled a lot of smoke, but he seems to be OK. So then what are you worried about? The way the fire started, it just seemed weird. I hate what I'm thinking, but I can't help it. Abigail, what are you thinking? I'm afraid to say. Chef Ming Tsai is attempting to name over 30 Millstone Premium Coffees by taste alone. Espresso Mezzo, Swiss Chocolate, Almond, Cafe Midnight. Organic Aztec Star and Sky. Millstone has so many exquisite coffees, from light and mild to dark and gold. There's one that's right for you. Colombian Supremo with a hint of jelly donut. Millstone, taste what's out there. Jen, did you wear my black blouse last night? Well, did you? Bust it. Keep it secret. Introducing new secret clear gel. Goes on invisibly, activates instantly. It's stronger than the leading clear gel. Does it look like I wore it? No. Keep it clear. Keep it secret. Strong enough for a man, but made for a woman. When you learn about laundry, they say, you know, the whites go here and the darks go here and the lights go there. What do you do with this? I'm hoping for the color not to get on anything else. Please let the clothes come out looking the way they did when they went in. With the shout color catcher, you take the sheet and you throw it in the wash and you close the lid. Shout. And if there was red in there, the sheet would come out red. But it's not on my clothes, it's on the sheet. If I had thrown a shirt in with the blue jeans, which I did, here's how it came out. I don't want to do laundry without it. New shout color catcher. The proof is on the sheet. S.E. Johnson, a family company. Prego Traditional versus the leading pasta sauce. In the rolling contest, both jars performed remarkably well. But the taste contest was no contest, as everyone in the family preferred Prego. Everyone goes for Prego. Leaks. Can't stand them. No other diaper stops leaks better than Huggies Ultra Trim. No leak is a good leak. You get to wear a V's when you get potty trained. Sometimes if you turn on the water, it'll help you go. Don't forget to flush. Remember to wear a clean pair every day. The best potty training advice is to treat your child like a big kid. Pull-ups look like big kid underwear, and they fit like big kid underwear, too. Pit the seat down or the dog will drink out of the toilet. So potty train with pull-ups and watch how fast kids grow up. I'm a big kid now. Underpants go under your pants. This week on The Late Show, Emmy winner for Outstanding Variety Series, Dave Scott, Edward Norton, Anthony LaPaglia, David Arquette, and David Schwimmer. Tonight, don't miss Patricia Heaton. It's all new Dave all this week. Real treatments that work for women with hair loss. Tomorrow on The Early Show. Aaron called me. He sounded upset, and he really needed someone to talk to. And so I met with him, and he asked me if I would talk with Holden. About what? Holden wants to send him back to Seattle, which tears him away from Oakdale, Lucy Montgomery, and everything he cares about right now. But I thought he was getting along fine here. Why would Holden want to send him away? He got in a motorcycle accident. Lucy Montgomery was on the back of the bike and got hurt. Oh, boy. Craig must have gone ballistic. Yeah. But Lucy's fine now. But Aaron's gotten into trouble with other things, and it just seems like there's been problems since the beginning. Yeah, well, he's 17. And problems seem to just find some people at that age. Even so, I don't think Holden would even be considering this if Lily wasn't having such a tough pregnancy. I mean, she has to stay in bed till the baby's born, and that leaves Holden with Luke and Faith, and trouble with Aaron's the last thing he needs. And Aaron knows that. So he started talking about <clears throat> that something huge would have to happen to make people look at him differently, and... And what? What did he say? <sighs> well, that it would be impossible. That he would have to do something heroic, like defuse a bomb or something. 
Oh, boy. And then he saves two children from a fire. <sighs> like within an hour. Aaron is right there, just seconds away. He goes in and he pulls them right out, and the word hero is suddenly ringing in the air like church bells on Sunday morning. Pretty huge coincidence. <sighs> you know, I never thought that I'd care about Aaron so much. He is so sweet, and that's why this whole thing is just... It's crazy. I don't want to believe that Aaron had anything to do with the barn burning down, but there's certain things I just can't ignore. Abigail, we're talking about arson. Do you think Aaron was really so desperate that he would set a fire that could possibly kill two children? How? I keep talking to him, hoping he'll wake up. Well, that's good. He can probably hear you. It's not working, though. Well, you know, sometimes with a head injury, things go slowly. Well, the body starts to take stock of the damage, and then it tries to heal itself. I hate to ask you to leave, but I want to take another set of x-rays. It won't take long. And this kid's been through the tortures of the damned, and he's not even a teenager yet. Life shouldn't be so complicated for somebody his age. Can I tell you what scares me the most, Bob? What if somewhere in his subconscious he decides just to chuck it all and not come back to us? No one knows what caused the fire, Craig, but it wasn't Aaron. First he went in and he saved Luke, and then he went back in and saved Will. He risked his life, Daddy. He went back into the fire even after we told him not to. Without a second thought. This is the part where you apologize? What am I supposed to be sorry about? Admit you were wrong about Aaron. Never mind, Lucy. Aaron, you just almost killed my daughter on your motorcycle. And tonight I get a call from my paper, your daughter's at Memorial, again. And here I find this you again. This is not again. an apology. I think there was a misunderstanding. Hold on, how is Luke? He's being held for observation for smoke inhalation. Will Munson was more seriously hurt. Is this over, Craig? Aaron, Luke wants to say goodnight to you. So what do you say we head back there? I didn't rescue those kids, so you or anybody else can think I'm some kind of a great guy. I just did what anybody would have done. Maybe even yourself. I know you said something to make him hate you. No, I didn't. What, so he just punched you for the heck of it? I'm I... sure tons of people would like to do that, but Aaron is not one of them. I asked him about you. He started to leave. I grabbed his shoulder. He swung at me. How is that my fault? Because you're the type of person who starts things, Dad. Why is it so hard for you to give Aaron the benefit of the doubt? Because maybe whenever there's trouble these days, Aaron is involved. All right? Whatever deed he did not tonight doesn't change that. You only see things that way because you want to. You never even tried to really understand him. Is there something I'm missing? Forget it. Where are you going? Anywhere to get away from you. How? How's Will? He's... You know, Craig, seeing the way you handle that situation right now just reminded me of something. What? The way I felt about your son before I got to know him. I have been down this road with you way too many times, Carly, and I'm so sick of it. Would you please just listen to me? What? To what? How much you need, Craig? Why am I surprised? Of course you need Craig. You've always needed Craig. I've just been too stupid to see it. Why else would he still be in our lives? You are stretching this. Carly, what kind of man would far. stand here and listen to the woman he loves, the woman he is supposed to marry, say she needs another man? The kind of man who understands that needing someone for his business connections and needing someone emotionally and physically are very, very different things.
I, I am trying to be straight with you here, and you are just overreacting. No, like no don't say that crazy. to me. No, you cannot say that to me. I cannot overreact when it comes to you, Carly. It's impossible. I have gone through hell for you, literally. You're not playing this straight. You're, you're setting up the, this scene to try to seduce me so you can get what you want. Well, you can forget about that. This scene, as you call it, was supposed to be about me showing you how much I want you, body and soul. You want me to apologize for that? Well, obviously, wanting and needing are two separate things to you. They aren't to me. Would you let me explain to you why you are wrong? I don't know what to tell you, honey. Oh, how could we miss the Grand Canyon? I don't know. It says it's right here next to the Lincoln Memorial. Maybe we should have taken a right at the Industrial Revolution. Explore America. Monopoly, the America edition, with new tokens, properties, and facts. Let's see. Louisiana Purchase, Hoover Dam. <sighs> Monopoly, the America edition. It's the American way. Healthy Choice introduces everything you love about a grilled meal without the grill. New Healthy Choice Mixed Grills. Tender chunks of grilled chicken with seared in flavor. Tangy barbecue dipping sauce. And crisp vegetables. A delicious way to eat healthy. Real food and plenty of it. Just the way I like it. Grilled. Six new mixed grills. From Healthy Choice. Did you know that the powerful heating medicine in Bengay increases blood flow at the site of application to help ease your aches and pains? Did you also know that Bengay's been scientifically proven to increase range of motion, decrease muscle and arthritis pain, and improve flexibility? And Ultra Strength Bengay has three powerful pain relieving medicines, more than any other leading brand, and that adds up to fast, powerful pain relief. Ultra Strength Bengay, the power you want, the relief you need. The new Brita Smart Pitcher not only gives you clear, refreshing water, it's the only pitcher with a digital indicator. So you'll always know when to change the filter, and your water will always be refreshing. How smart is that? The Brita Smart Pitcher. Refreshingly smart. Crispy Thins. How hard can it be to advertise a different kind of wheat thin? We tried everything. It's thin, like me. Packed with wholesome goodness in seasoned, original, and ranch. Crispy thins are crispy. Yum. We're so dead. Crispy thins. Baked like a cracker, but thin and crispy like a chip. There's a new snack in town. He's good. There's a new snack in town, new crispy thin. These shoes could inspire a whole outfit. Bet you can't guess where I found them. Payless, you won't believe the new looks. And the best thing, maybe they're all on sale. At the buy one, get one half off sale. Let's go shopping. Look smart, Payless. I don't like to hurt me for nothing. If I can do that without having to hurt myself, then I'll do it. One Touch Ultra requires less blood, so you can test on your arm where it's less painful. I'll do it every time I should. The One Touch Ultra. Answer me this. Margot, she is one of your very best friends, and she's a woman. Last I checked. You two are partners. She is somebody that you can totally count on. You trust her with your life. You've even, dare I say it, needed her on occasion. Yes, of course. And so after having felt this close to someone, having spent this much intense, intimate time with a woman who's not me, can you honestly tell me that you have never at any point thought of her in a sexual way? Why is the point? The point is that the sex thing is a non-issue. You're not a couple of animals panting after each other in between drug busts, but that doesn't mean that you haven't needed her in your life. Your friends, first and last. And this is what you want Craig to be? 
Not necessarily. But that doesn't mean that I don't need him at this point in my career. Okay, the guy's a louse, but on the other hand, if what he says can help me... Yeah, and I don't do that for you, huh? You do something much more important. You love me. You let me love you. You love my son. And you show me every day in big ways and in small ways that commitment isn't just a word. It's real. It's forever. And that's everything, Jack. That is everything that counts. And Craig? <sighs> Craig is... He's like a ride at the amusement park. It's fun for a couple of times and then... Well, eventually, you gotta get off before you throw up. That question you asked about whether I ever uh, imagined Margot without her badge. See, the thing with Craig is, he doesn't have to imagine that, Carly. He already knows. He knows what you look like. What you smell like. What you taste like. Everything. How would you feel if I came home and said, Carly, guess what? The new police commissioner is a woman, and she and I had a hot affair a while back. But don't worry, we are going to be working very closely for the foreseeable future, because she thinks I am going straight to the top. In fact, she is going to do everything in her power to get me there. Honestly, I'd want to scratch both your eyes out. Hmm. But if I loved you, then I would have to trust you, wouldn't I? And in your case, you have the contract. If your trust ever starts to slip, you have the contract. Craig signed it, and it states very clearly that if he even touches me, Rosanna takes back B.R.O. Yeah, I, I still don't get why that is supposed to make me feel better. Do you honestly think that that man would risk losing everything just for me? Do you think that I would risk losing you? If you do, well, then you're right. We got problems. I thought your kid was on a mission to take my kids away from me one by one, Craig. Mm. You were a bit irrational back then. I just couldn't face the simple fact that what happened to Parker was an accident. Horrible. I couldn't face that. See, I wanted someone to blame. Well, uh, yeah. Hal, uh, I know you're in a bad place, but you're not trying to draw comparisons between Aaron Snyder and my son, are you? Is that where this is going? Doing more x-rays. You want to go check on them? When they're done. I guess all I'm saying, Craig, is that blaming, it does not help. It just postpones the inevitable. You know how I really think Lucy is all I have left? Of course you do, Craig. Of course you do. But that does not mean that you're all that Lucy has. She wants Aaron Snyder, too. And if you can't accept that, you may just end up with nothing. Something had been eating at me about Marshall Travers for weeks, and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. But every time I looked at him, I kept thinking back to the night this place was robbed. Now, we're supposed to buy him convincing some random guy to put his gun down? Well, that's exactly what happened, Isaac. He saved Bonnie's life. Right. And it happened on a night when I wasn't here. I mean, come on, I'm always here. So, what's the matter, sweetie? Are you upset that you didn't play the role of hero yourself? No. Then what did you find out, Isaac? I found the guy with the gun. How? His name is Roy Baxter. Wait, this man isn't in custody? How is that possible? His good friend, Marshall Travers. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. You, you mean Travers knew the gunman before that night? Intimately. <laughs> and after a little bit of uh, friendly persuasion, Roy rolled over on our superhero lawyer. The whole robbery was a setup. Okay, 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 wait. Now, 
What exactly did Baxter say, and why should we even believe him? Well, first he said this was his first robbery. That was a lie. He's got a record thicker than the Oakdale phone book, <laughs> and he's wanted for two other robberies. Marshall has agreed to represent him for free. A little quid pro quo. If Baxter agrees to do one more robbery, then Marshall represents him on all charges. Are you sure about this? Marshall's gotten all of his cases venued out of Oakdale, and now he's making a deal for the scum. He's probably gonna walk on everything. But why would he go through all this trouble? I mean, to fake a robbery, consort with a known felon. So he could get Bonnie on his side. Pull her on his side, get her talking about you. He needed whatever he could get to use against you for that election. But it didn't work. I would never say anything negative about my own mother anyway. I need to answer this. I'm on call today. You know, we need to go to the police on this. Will that Baxter guy talk to the police? I'm trying to find a way before the election tomorrow. Wait, j wait, don't do that. Hey, don't forget your Pop-Tarts. Great. Got my toaster strudel? Got to go. No wonder kids prefer the taste of Pillsbury Toaster Strudel. It's got layers of flaky crust, juicy fruit filling, and do-it-yourself icing. So I do all your pop tarts go. <laughs> Something better just popped up in your grocer's freezer. Pillsbury Toaster Strudel. Next, please. Well, hello. Oh, great. A talking gecko. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. It's magic rattle poo. Put baby in control and watch baby poop go. This is fun. When baby shakes the rattle. Magic rattle poo. Rocks and rolls. Oh, hello, friend. Meet new sing and snore poo. <gasps> Nap time. Please lay me down. <sighs> Thank you. Sing and snore poo loves to sing. Hush. Little bumblebees. Snore. <laughs> and... Look! <laughs> he looks like Daddy. No. Now he looks like Daddy. <laughs> New Sing and Snore Poo. <laughs> Pure, light, pearlescent. Powder Pearl's fragrance from Abbey Pure Perfume Selections. The first two-in-one liquid air freshener and bowl cleaner. Cleans the bowl and fills your bathroom with a delicate fragrance. Only from Abbey Pure. On October 8th, explore the castle and experience the magic, fun, and adventure. Beauty and the Beast Special Edition on video and Disney DVD October 8th. We're showing off the practicality of Scott Tissue in a place where common sense reigns supreme. In Scotland. <laughs> Let her rip! Every roll has a thousand sheets. And it's soft as a lamb in April. I like the name. Scott Tissue, common sense on a roll. Tonight, TV's best night of comedy gets even funnier. First, how far will the King of Queens go to impress his new neighbors? We could capture them, lock them in our attic till they realize how delightful we are. Then, after the hit comedy, yes, dear, it's the Emmy-winning Raymond. Mommy says no TV. Don't worry about Mommy. Turn it off, Ray. And welcome to the hood. Daddy. Parenthood. Any day to run slower or get taller. The series premiere of Still Standing. All new CBS Tonight. And don't miss Dave on an all new Late Show. When you call Empire Carpet and shop at home, you get carpeting next day, not next month. Our giant warehouse is filled with brand name carpeting. Choose from hundreds of samples and we'll install your new carpet next day. And with our warehouse direct prices, you'll save. Plus, no payments till January 2004. So instead of driving to a carpet store, call Empire. For samples in your home today, carpet in your home tomorrow. 800 
Bank at Bay pay nothing until 2004. That's no deposit, no interest, no payments till 2004. And free delivery. Sale ends Monday. A man with a defective heart. A team of experts with the ultimate assistant. Watch Vital Signs, Saturday, October 5th at 6.30 p.m. Your first look at the JFK Jr. and Carolyn movie, their romance reenacted. Then Paul Abdul with John Ritter and a star wedding next week. Tonight at 6.30 on CBS 2. Judging Amy, the season premiere, CBS Tuesday. I got a major situation at the hospital. Hal Munson's son, Will, was injured in a fire. Oh, God, what's his condition? Critical, he's still unconscious. I'll give you a call if I get him in, okay? Yeah, yeah, don't worry about me. Good work, bro. All right, you two. Uh, I don't know what else I can say. It's the night before the election. We've done everything we can. Not yet. There's still the 11 o'clock news. Uh, we can definitely get him on the front page of the City Times. Lucinda Walsh loves dirt like this. Yes, this could be the last thing they read before they go to the polls. I am not interested in slinging mud at Marshall Travers, Bonnie. You know me better than that. Yes, if everything was fair play, yes, you are the paragon of fair. But, Mom, this guy could be James Denbeck's right-hand man. We don't know that. Okay, forget about the election. You want to get trampled on, that's your business. But what about what he did to Bonnie? He hired some thug to stick a gun in her ribs. Yeah, I'm still having nightmares. Doesn't that matter? Yes, it matters. Everything matters. Mom. <sighs> Mom, what's going on? Are you okay? You know, I appreciate what you guys are trying to do, but I just can't use this information, okay? I can't. You know, for so long, I could not look at Brian through Jennifer's eyes. Or through yours. I've got kids. I should have known that if Jennifer cared that much about him, that he... He must be worth a lot. I just couldn't. Well, because you had a little girl to protect, Hal. I mean, that's what we're all about, isn't it? I mean, we want to protect our children from, from things that aren't safe. You know, hold the world at bay. Isn't that what we're lamenting here, that we failed to do that? Mm -hmm. I lost my son. You almost lost yours. Tonight, I'm just, I'm just trying to stop it from happening to Lucy. You're right, Craig. I wasn't there for Will today. But Aaron Snyder was. He literally pulled my kid out of a burning building. Well, that was something. Why don't you do yourself a favor and look at the kid through my eyes? I bet it's the same thing Lucy sees. They must be done with the x-rays. I gotta go mm. check on them. Yeah, go, go. How's he doing? He has second degree burns on his left hand. We treated that. Is that the only place he was burned? That's all we could find. What about the x-rays? They were inconclusive. There's a chance that pressure is building up inside Will's head. Does that mean surgery? It could. Ben Harris has been called in. Well, Ben's the best. Is he in any pain, Bob? Not now. When he comes around, we'll uh, control him then. How? Ben, it's good to see you. Uh, I took a look at Will's film. We suspect intracranial bleeding at the site of the injury. I ordered another CT scan for more detail. Well, you do whatever you have to do, Ben. Because I am not done raising him yet. Lucy? Aaron is waiting for Luke to fall asleep. I'm gonna head back there myself. He just wanted me to let you know where he was. I'll tell him I'll just wait for him here. Okay. And hold on. After everything that's happened, can you really send Aaron back to Seattle? Okay. Well, the hospital says that Luke will probably be going home tomorrow, but that Will's condition is still very serious. <sighs> you know, even if Aaron did set that fire. I can't imagine he thought anyone would get hurt. But somebody was hurt. Badly. Abigail, did you talk to Aaron about what you've been thinking? And destroy any relationship that we might have? 
If the fire was an accident and I say something to Aaron that makes him think I'm wondering he said it, so all you can do is wait. Ultimately, I know that. I just had to tell you I had to get it off my chest. And I am so happy that I'm the person you come to for that. And I hope that never, ever stops. Do you think I should tell Holden? I wouldn't. And this is just a feeling you have. You're speculating, and that can potentially be very dangerous. And I'm sure the fire department's already investigating, and if they decide that this fire was deliberately set, then you can decide what to do. Do you know what I admire about you the most? You always try to do the right thing. And that makes me very proud. Yeah. Well, being a righteous little do-gooder won't help me much if I lose my brother in the process. Well, you've tried yelling at me. You've tried freezing me out. Now, look at me, Jack. I'm still here. Don't I at least get a couple of points for that? Jack, I refuse to give up on us. Please tell me that you won't give up on us either. Tell me something. One of the things I love about you is, is how passionate you are. And how passionate you are for what you want out of life. And I would be lying if I said I didn't believe you on this. That you can love me and work with Craig and raise Parker and handle it all. I can. I'm not going to let Craig interfere or mess with us in any way. You're going to do your best. I guess I have to trust that. Is that, is that a green light? One thing. Despite all I just said, I still think this whole deal with Craig is a crock, Carly. We are gonna have problems. The question is, how we roll with them. I have to get that. It might be Emily about Parker. Hello? Is this a bad time? Yeah, yeah, you're right. This is a bad time. You cannot keep calling me and harassing me whenever the whim strikes you. In fact, let's just take this opportunity to get a few things straight, okay? You are not to call me at home in the evenings. I have told you over and over and over again that other than Parker, Jack is my main priority. What are you wearing? Are you listening to me? Oh, yes. Let me get serious for a moment. Remember what game we're playing tonight. Let me guess. Jack is jealous you're showing off? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. And there are going to be some rules now, too, Craig. And if you break them, if you break even one of them, I'm history. You got me contract or no contract. You're breaking up with me already? Say it ain't so. Listen, can we quicken the pace here? I have a busy night. If this little agreement of ours is going to work, I need time to prepare. I've got sketches to do. I've got to meet the BRO staff. In other words, I've got to do it my way. Jack, if you're buying this performance, you're not half the half a man I thought you were. Carly, why don't you let the boys handle this? Why don't you put old Jack on the phone? This is my family. They are really busy people. Even Spot. We don't get to see each other as much as we like. That's why I instituted Family Game Night. It's a special night once a week when we all get together as a family. We play games like Monopoly and Scrabble. We laugh a lot. Being together like this, it's important. My family's just growing up so fast, and I want to be there for them. Institute your own Family Game Night with these great family games from Milton Bradley and Parker Brothers. Family Game Night is just a good idea I had. When you have acid reflux disease, heartburn boils up again and again. The bad as the heartburn can be, the real threat is what lies beneath. Over time, that burning acid could wear away the lining of your esophagus, and even if your heartburn symptoms aren't severe, the damage can be. I didn't know 
I didn't know. Your doctor knows about a purple pill called Nexium. Nexium goes to the source of the problem, actually reducing the amount of acid your body creates. For many people, one prescription Nexium a day provides complete 24-hour day and night heartburn relief. And importantly, Nexium is proven to heal acid reflux erosions in the esophagus. Other serious stomach conditions may still exist. The most common side effects of Nexium are headache, diarrhea, and abdominal pain. Talk to your doctor and call this number for more information and a free trial offer for Nexium. Relieve the heartburn, heal the damage. It's possible with the purple pill called Nexium. Can you ever be too rich? Not when it comes to your hair color. Hydrance is so moisture rich, it's goodbye dry. Hello, rich radiance. Hydrance from Claro. Color wonderful. Our cover girl's all set to go. Said long wear versus outlast? I don't think so. They say they last, but bite and block. Yeah. Outlast, great. Others, not. Outlast all day lip color. A beautiful cover girl. Allergies leave you ultra sensitive? The softest tissue is Kleenex Ultra Soft. Thank goodness for Kleenex tissues. Oh, mama, don't you make me another meatloaf? Forget the mac and cheese. I want some fun piled on a bun. I want a man which please. Make tonight a man which night. I want a man which please. <laughs> Last Monday, more than 23 million viewers made CSI Miami a hit. CBS Tonight, every CSI agent has one case that sticks with them forever. For CSI Miami, this is it. Find the bomb, find the bomb. There's a device. If you move, it can blow. The new hit series, CSI Miami. All new CBS Tonight. Wednesday, CBS invites you to discover Presidio Med. The new drama critics say brings the human touch back to medicine. An all new Presidio Med CBS Wednesday. The bottom line is that Jack and Parker are my life, not BRO. Is this about over? Because I really got to go. If I need to talk to you about business, I will call you. You know, on any other night, this might actually turn me on. I could wear those vinyl shorts. I could pay $3.99 a minute. Anyway, I got to go. Bye. No, I, I've got a better idea. Why don't you go straight to hell? Good night. Not bad. This house and everything in this house is all that matters to me. And I'm going to beat that idea into Craig's head if it kills me. Yours, too. So you're going to work for Craig no matter what? Should I pack my things and leave? What if I said yes? That's exactly what you should do. Where'd your father go? Hopefully, back home. No, we still haven't said whether what happened today changed your mind about sending Aaron back to Seattle. Lucy, I'm not sending Aaron back to Seattle to punish him. And it's not like I'm waiting around for something good to happen to change my mind, either. I'm worried that I can't be the kind of father that Aaron needs right now. But shouldn't Aaron be the one to decide that? There's something that everyone seems to be forgetting here. Aaron has a mother. Julie, who loves him very much, and a stepfather who desperately wants a second chance with him. So it doesn't matter what Aaron wants? No, of course it matters what Aaron wants, but Aaron needs to work things out with Caleb and Julie. Otherwise, he's just going to be running from stuff the rest of his life. Well, not if he had a home with you. Yeah, Aaron needs stability. He needs people not to turn his back on him as soon as he does something wrong. You never really gave him a chance to be part of your family. You had all these restrictions, these what-ifs. No wonder he was always running. This has been a very difficult time for my family, but we are all doing the best that we can. So what was the point of running after him if you didn't want him to stay? That was before Lily's pregnancy became so high risk. And now I have a kid in the hospital, a kid that I need to get back to. Look, Lucy, the world does not revolve around you and Aaron. There are other people involved in your lives, and I think it's time that you both start to come to an understanding of that. I gotta go.
sounds like a wish. Um, I want to make this better. Do you want to make it up to me? <laughs> you don't waste any time, do you? Does this involve jewelry? Convince Holden to let Aaron stay in Oakdale. Have I thanked you for what you tried to do tonight? Not necessary. Once again, it's I.J. to the rescue. Better late than never. Well, thanks anyway. There is, uh... Well, there's one other thing I didn't want to bring up in front of your mother. Travers did more than just set Jessica up. He set you up, too, with that whole display in the hotel. Oh, you're finally realizing that. Well, it's about time. Oh, will someone here please tell the woman I'm apologizing? <laughs> I... To be honest, I was kind of jealous. I, I do enjoy being your superhero. It's not a title I'm looking for for life, but it's a pretty good game. My Black Knight. <laughs> but there's one thing that is still bugging me. What, what's that? My mother's reaction to what you told her. Yeah, that was weird. I figured once she found out, she'd try to spread the news far and wide. Yeah, but she's not. And I can only think of one reason. Marshall has something on her we don't know about. He needed whatever he could get to use against you in the election. Sleep doesn't always come easy. Fortunately, there's Ambien. Ambien is a prescription sleep aid that can help you get a full night's sleep. While natural sleep is best, Ambien helps you fall asleep fast, stay asleep longer, and wake rested and refreshed, not groggy the next morning. No wonder Ambien is the number one prescribed sleep aid in America. Until you know how Ambien will affect you, you shouldn't drive or operate machinery. Side effects may include drowsiness, dizziness, and diarrhea. You shouldn't take it with alcohol. Patients who abuse prescription sleep aids may become dependent. Prescription sleep aids are most often taken for 7 to 10 days as needed. Your doctor will advise you about taking them longer. Take Ambien only when you can devote a full 7 to 8 hours to sleep and wake rested and ready to start your day. Talk to your doctor about Ambien. Ambien works like a dream. Diaper stops leaks better than Huggies Ultra Trim. No leak is a good leak. An anti-aging breakthrough. In testing, 100% of women who tried Neutrogena Visibly Firm showed a visible improvement in firmness, fine lines, or clarity. Visibly Firm replenishes copper, a collagen-building mineral essential, essential for, for firm, firm skin. skin. Neutrogena Visibly Firm. Ah, the joy of stacking, especially if you're stacking with this, the new Airtivity table, only from Play School. These stacks float, flutter, and pop on a magical cushion of air. Airtivity. Get it? Play School. Play School. Welcome to Fearless Cooking, where mistakes can happen. For mistakes like this, try palm olive. It removes tough baked on grease better than that blue liquid. Lifts it up like a magnet. Come on, get cooking. Palm olive, tough on grease, soft on hands. on you and you can depend on us at the medicine shop pharmacy your family's wellness is our only business the medicine shop 
take the planet for a spin on the amazing race. Go! 12 new teams of two race around the world for one million bucks. Let's go! And they'll do whatever it takes to win. Bug eating? That's your man. The new Amazing Race premieres CBS Wednesday. I still don't get your mom's reaction to everything I told her about Travers. I don't either. She could waltz into a second term as DA if she would just go to the City Times with this stuff about the phony robbery. And you must be right. He has something on her. Like what? She already made a statement explaining the gaffe she made with your liquor license. I don't know, but uh, she looks scared. Which makes me think she still needs help. Unfortunately, she was very clear she doesn't want our help. But she needs help from somewhere because Travers, he's a gangster. Ugh, well, that's exaggerating a bit. I'm not talking about the stick you up at the drive through type, but he's a sharp lawyer without a conscience. He could probably mess you up all kind of ways and make it legal. I can handle people like that. You mean past tense, right? Tell me that you're not still going after the guy on your own. Jack, if you want me to go. I wish I could just say the words, I, but I can't. You really wish you had the stomach to kick me out? Oh. Well, I'm more than sorry you feel that way. What else do you expect from me, Carly? I mean, come on, you, you say you want to play this straight. You say you need Craig Montgomery, and on top of that, you want me to accept the fact that you need Craig Montgomery. Be a good boy, Jack. Roll over. I have never said that. Well, I'm that. supposed to be the understanding, magnanimous boyfriend, fiance, a man of your dreams, who, despite legitimate concerns, is just supposed to lie down and take it from Craig Montgomery yet again? All right. Heaven forbid I destroy your sacred sense of manhood, Jack, if that's what all this boils down to. You know, Carly, maybe I can still be some of the stuff you want. Maybe even what you need. But you know what else? I'm gonna need something from you first. I'm gonna need a promise from you. Fine. If it's about Craig, fine. Anything. Promise me that if you ever, I mean ever, put sex with Craig, lust for Craig, love for Craig, even fantasies about Craig on the table, you will not confess your sins to me. Promise me that. What? Promise me, Carly. Promise you won't apologize. Or beg me for a for a tenth chance. You'll just you just vanish from my life. Vanish? I don't want to spend another moment of the time that I have here left on Earth arguing with you again about Craig Montgomery. You won't have to. Because nothing is gonna happen with Craig Jack. Just promise me, Carly. This job is gonna do incredible things for my life. It promise. is gonna do incredible things for promise my life. me. Yes. yes, I promise. What are you doing? I'm ordering an extra cheese, pepperoni, black olives to go with that wine. Sweetness, what right do I have to tell Holden Snyder how to handle his son? Never thought that way when you were trying to keep Aaron away from me. You told Holden what to do all the time. Lucy. It's true. Well, maybe I made a suggestion or two. But after what Aaron did today, it's different. If you said that you changed your mind about Aaron, it would mean something. Sweetness, one nice gesture does not rehabilitate a deviant. I can't believe this. Aaron does something so selfless, so amazing, and it means nothing to you. No, no, it, it was something. But not enough? No, not really. And this is what I've decided. If Aaron leaves Oakdale, then I'm leaving too. What? I'll go back to Montego and live with Mom. I mean it this time. That's extortion. Well, I'm sorry. If you don't like it, then you should talk to Holden. Are you Aaron Snyder? Yeah. Can I take a picture for the City Times? What for? You're the one who saved the kids, right? I was just there at the right time. 
I think that makes you a hero in this town. Looks like it traveled this way. I haven't found the ignition point yet. Me neither, but I'm starting to rule out Mrs. O'Leary's cow. This one looks suspicious. just a shuffle away. Uh -huh. Introducing new Bear Extra Strength Back and Body. It soothes aching muscles and sore backs with the trusted... French Liquid Plumber on tough plugs. Don't get caught without it.